Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to My Feel Like is Online. This Thursday morning for your 30 minute hit workout. It's going to be quick, it's going to be on the go, non stop. So just really give it your best for the full 30 minutes. Do what you can, all right, and, and enjoy it. We're going to be doing today's workout based around one minute exercises. If you feel that things are a bit too challenging, then just go for 50 seconds and use the last 10 seconds for rest, or 45 seconds, or whatever is working for you. If you can manage the full length of the minute exercise, then really go for it. Today's hit workout is a little bit flexibility and mobility based. So the exercises are going to be cardio, high impact, endurance, even though you can do a low impact version. And then we're going to couple it with some mobility, flexibility type static stretch type movements. All right. So straight on the clock, we're starting in 15 seconds. So get yourself ready and position. You've got your water, your towel, your mat, your everything. We're going to start warming up the body. So we're going to just start jumping with that imaginary skipping rope. Ready? Three. Two, one, let's go. So starting with the jump rope, skip, okay? We've got 15 exercises to get through. We repeat it twice. So we're going from minute one to minute 30, non-stop with all our exercises to do a double jump or a single jump. Let's just skip it out, all right? Just getting the blood flow, getting the joints moving, loosen those shoulders. Rotate through the wrists, moving through the ankles. Before you know it, 30 minutes is up, guys. So let's really just give it all we've got. That's it, we've got 10 more seconds. And we're gonna move from the jump rope into a jumping jack. One minute jumping jack. Ready, three, two, one, let's go into that jumping jack. Then we're going to modify it to step out. All right. Otherwise, full jump here. Moving through the shoulders, arms. Then notice how you're landing on your feet, flat feet or toes. Good, keep breathing. Lengthen your neck. One minute round. Doing your best. Three groups of five exercises. Group one is the cardio. Ten more seconds. And we're going to be moving into a kick bum. Five. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Flex your feet. Emphasize getting your heel to your glute. Keep your chest up. We really want to get you warmed up nice and fast. It's early, it's a wee bit cold. So we need a nice thorough warm up. Flexing feet. All the exercises are technically very good warm up exercises that we're doing throughout the whole 30 minute series this morning. Good, you can move around. Notice how you're pressing into your feet. Lift the heel nice and high. We're going to go into high knee after this, so stay strong. Ready? Three, two, one, lift the knees up now. Slowing it down. Low impact will be a much. You've got to emphasize picking your knee up high. It's a bit of abdominals. So don't drop the chest. Come on, full round. This is number four of five. First round on one of three. One of three rounds to repeat. Now we start 30 minute workout. 
Stay with me, come on. Lift those knees. 15 seconds to go. We're gonna move into a wide V squat from here. Will be number five of this first section. Ready? Stand wide. Open it up. Two pulses, stand. We're doing this for a hip opener. Slow down the breath. Open the knees nice and wide. Two little bounces. Up to stand. Keep it wide. Knees are tracking in line with second toe. Posture stays upright. As low as you can comfortably drop, opening wide knees. We're going to be moving into section two. In five seconds, going into our spider twist. So down here, hands to the floor, walk to the one ankle, twist the body, lifting opposite arm, over to the other side, twist, cross, twist. All right, you can modify this, walk into one leg straight. If it feels okay on the knees and the body, you can go into fully stretching one leg, nice and wide. Give yourself a little twist when you arrive at each foot. So just listen to your mobility here. If this is really a difficult one for you, you can put your hands up on the couch, up on the table, up on the walls, and maybe you're doing it from there. Or at the knee. Okay, but challenge yourself. Good. And then standing up from there, we're going to a full twist. From here, arms out. Opposite hand to opposite ankle. Stand, scissors through the air. Slice, twist, and touch. A little bit of a hamstring stretch, keep the legs straight. Twist and touch. Move from your hips so you're not using your neck to bend the head up and down. Twist the spine as much as you can, looking up to the ceiling if you can. Good, we've got 15 seconds and we're gonna go into a back stepping lunge. Twist, slice, reach, stand. Five, four, three, two, one. Standing together, we step back, lunge, alternate. So just stepping back to 90 degrees, find your balance. Keep your posture up nice and tall. Arms can move to help to keep you stable. You don't have to do the arm movement. Let's see that you're creating nice 90 degree angles through your knees and hips. Rather than a lunge that looks like that. You want to use the back leg, shift your weight back, bend into it. Got 15 seconds to go. Good. Three, two. On your last one, place your hands onto the mat. Stretch that leg out. Good. From here, we step back into a plank position. We go for the lizard lunge. So one big step wide. Drop the hips slightly. Back into plank and change. Shoulders have got to stay over your wrists. Step to where you can, the higher, up to the hands, and just off the mat, the better. But do what your hips are comfortable with. Challenging yourself, this one will take a bit of practice to progress. Oh. 
Hold that plank steady, lunge stand. 10 seconds to go. Next exercise. Good. Hold that lunge. Opposite arm, rotate, twist. Land it back down. Put the leg into pigeon. And release to plank. Other foot steps up. Opposite hand, face that knee, twist. Rotating the spine, bring it back. Land in the pigeon stretch. And then back to plank. Other side. Lunge lizard. Rotate spine. Back to land into pigeon stretch. And up to plank. Other side. Lunge. Twist spine. Land into pigeon. And release. We go. Lunge. Twist. Land. Pigeon. And plank. Lunge. Twist. Land. Pigeon. And land. Good. Next one. Bring yourself up. Open those hips nice and wide. Into your sumo. You're going to hold it here. If you struggle to balance here, I want you to be in front of a wall that you can hold on a handle or a rope or something that you don't fall. And I want you to just hold it where you can manage, whether it's here or all the way down. This is how we used to sit before they invented chairs. Lift up your chest, lift up your spine, and practice this position, getting into the hips, being able to hold yourself here. Because from there, we want to start walking, moving, and operating. So just challenge yourself to get into your sumo squat. Up nice and tall. Five, four, three, two, one. Laying down on your spine for some military part. So we go back halfway. We lift up one foot, we lift up the other foot, we balance. Exhale, knees to chest, inhale, stretch. Exhale, knees to chest. So just from there, if this is too tough, you can do it with your hands on the mat. Or you can do a single leg. Alright? Otherwise, full balance. Let's go, let's go. Inhale, exhale. Lengthen and joy. Good. Keep on going. We got just over 10 seconds to go. Really tucking that belly. Four, three, two, one. Onto your tummy. Arms in T position. You're going to lift your right leg up. Lift your knee, open up the right hip as you reach your toes to touch the mat behind you. Okay, so you get a nice stretch opening. Think of lifting that knee nice and wide, listen to your spine. And then you're going to lift the arm up as well, opening that spine, opening that chest, rolling your hip back as far as possible. Good. Bring it down and other side. This is the scorpion tail. A little flip. Open that knee wide. Then when you're ready, lift the arm up, twist. Hip back, knee up and wide. Reach. Good. Beautiful stretch here. And release it down. From here, push into upside down V position. From the V, we move into the plank. Inhale, plank, exhale, V. Inhale, plank, exhale, V. Flat back, drop the heels, find the stretch. Inhale, forward, exhale, the back. Through the hips, through the shoulders. Stretching out the back of the legs. Inhale, exhale. We've got 20 seconds left. Good. 
The last exercise will be number 15, and we're going into now. We're going to split it into two exercises, 30 seconds each. So jump forward into your sit up for 30 seconds. Let's go. One. Exhale. Round back to flat back. Quick 30 seconds. Do as many sit ups as you can do for the 30 seconds. And then we're going into repeat from the top for round two. One more sit up and up to squat jump 30 seconds. Squat jump. Sit back, keep your chest up. Otherwise, just reach and land. Flat back. 10 seconds. We're going straight from the top. No rest, guys. Ready? For the skipping, let's go. All righty. Round one complete from the top. Exercises one to 15, one minute rounds. You know what to do now. Give it your best. Keep it in the wrist, rotate. Keep on going, come on. Single and double and out. Imagine that rope getting under the feet each rip. Ready to go into jumping jacks. Three, two, one, let's go. Open up the fingers, use the feet, tight tummy. Sixty seconds, you can do it. Stay strong. Good, control it. Stabilize your neck. Nearly there. Good. Ready? Kick bums. Let's go. Flex the feet. Lift up to kick the bum. Keep flexing feet, kick it up, all the way. Tuck in that tummy, keep your posture lifted nice and tall, lighten your feet. Using all those low leg muscles, flex through those feet. Getting ready for some high knees. All right, are you ready? Lift those knees up, let's go. Don't slack, come on, kick those knees up. Use the abdominals. Nice and high, it's gone. That's it. Come on, guys. Nearly there. Just a few more seconds. We got this. Let's go. We're doing it together. Push it to the end, push it, push it. Ready? 
Ready for wide V squat. And open it up. Turn those toes out. Let's go. Double bounce and stand. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Double bounce, wide knees here, hip opener. Come on, keep up that passion, keep up that power, guys. We're already nearly there. Before you know it, you've blinked and it's over. Give it your best. Starting your day off right. Getting ready for our spider twist. Stay nice and long, walking across from foot to foot, twisting spine. Ready? Stay low. We walk, we twist, we walk, cross, twist. A little bit further. A little bit wider between the legs. Stretch one leg, twist. Otherwise, your hands are up on a chin or a couch. Find that spider crawl through the hips. Twist. Quite a deep stretch this, but you, again, another one you want to practice so that you can progress. From here, we're going to stand and do the full twist.
Good. Now we're going to go into lizard lunge. Rotation. Land into pigeon. And lift up. We go. Big lizard step. Twist the spine. Rotate it. Land. Pigeon. Hold. Return. And repeat. Lunge. Lizard. Spine twist. Land. Pigeon. Square and hips. Change. Lizard. Spine twist. Land. Into that pigeon. And step. Twist. Land. Pigeon. Beautiful little movement here. Lizard. Twist the spine. Bring it back. Pigeon. Good. And release it. Did I get to the super? So if you need a wall to hold on, open nice and wide, drop into it and hold it there. You want to be in front of the wall to hold on so you don't fall or grab onto a rope or a bar. If you can, use your elbows to widen your knees as low and deep as you can manage here. Chest up. Notice where in your body starts to fatigue first in this position. And then you can see which area really needs a little bit more focus in strength. We've got four more minutes left. Four more exercises, guys. That's it. From here, I'm going into the military boat abdominal exercise. Ready, wide, chest up. Finishing it here. Three, two, one, and on your bottom. Find the balance, feet off the mat. Inhale, stretch, exhale. Make sure you're getting that tuck of the tailbone, putting in your abdominals. Inhale, reach and exhale, grab. Inhale, exhale, a few more seconds, come on. Remember, you can use your hands on the floor if you need. Good. Onto your tummy for the scorpion tail. Nice and wide. We lift one foot up, followed by the knee and hip. Reaching for the mat behind us. Really open up and stretch that knee and thigh. When you're ready, pick the arm up. Open up the spine, the chest. Lift that knee up as you take it back. Good. And gently bring it down and round. Other side. Lift up. High knee. Open hip. Twist. Then lift up. The arm and the hand opening up the chest. Pick that knee up. Open the hip. Good, exhale, drop down and return into upside down B. Stretch it out. We're gonna inhale into that plank. Exhale, push back. Inhale and exhale. We are coming to that finale, that grand ending. Well done guys, keep it strong to the end. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, push back. Stretch through those shoulders. From here, we break the last exercise down into a roll up. And instead of the jump squats, we're going to do roll downs to cool it off.
three, two, one. Jumping forward, sit up, 30 seconds, let's go. Finishing up strong, as many as you can for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna roll it down to finish it off, guys. Woohoo, let's go. Exhale, lift, flat back, round down. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, onto your hands and knees. Push up into upside down V. Walk those hands to your feet. Release your head, neck, shoulders, soften your knees. Tuck in your belly and roll up. Inhale, circle those arms, lift the chest, deep breath in. Now your chin, exhale, roll it down slowly. Leave those hips behind. Good, take a deep breath in, exhale, roll up. One more, inhale, big and wide breath. Now the chin, roll it down. Release, take a deep breath in and exhale, roll it up. All the way to the top. Well done, everybody. I would advise if you've got a foam roller at home with some fascia balls, just give yourself a nice little stretch and a little roll out to finish it off. But well done, you completed your 30 minutes. Hips work out. I hope you join me for the next one. I love these little 30 minute workouts, they are great. Take care, guys. See you soon. Thanks, Sabrina. Thanks, Sabrina. Thanks,